Jet Elements from Croco Block has a very interesting take on the portfolio. If you have worked with portfolios before, it's usually what we call a custom type. It's similar to a post, but it is a specific kind of post and we call it a custom type. So you have your portfolio, then you have your different posts within the portfolio, then you have an archive portfolio and it allows you to make things like categories and tags. That is usually associated with things like dynamic content if you start playing around with it. But with this Jet Element add-on, you don't need to know that. And I'm going to show you how they've done it. It's a very, very interesting feature. So you go to your Jet Elements here in your editor and you look for Portfolio. And if you cannot find it, but I found it over here, Portfolio, and drag it in. You are basically going to create everything in here and it's a once off process. You're not going to be able to do dynamic content to other pages and make mega menus with it, things like that. But if you just need it as a once off display of portfolio items, then this is an ideal and a magnificent element in for that matter. Now, for those of you who don't know what we mean by portfolio, it's usually something that you've created that you are displaying and it's usually connected to artists like, um, you know, if you've made some paintings or you've made some designs, graphic designs, or you've taken photos. This is the kind of people that will be using a portfolio. So we have six images here and I'm going to go and use these six. So what we're going to do is that for this portfolio, I'm going to use photos from South Africa and I'm going to add them here and I'll style them each one by one. So the first thing and just follow along, I'm going to give them categories. So this one, for example, these are all in Cape Town in South Africa. So I'm not going to give it the Cape Town category because everybody knows it is in Cape Town. But this one I will call Waterfront because it's at the waterfront. And then here, this is the title of the waterfront. So let's just change the title as well, the VNA. VNA waterfront, VNA, VNA waterfront. Right, so you'll start seeing as I start adding stuff to the next ones, what is going on here. This is an image. So what do we see? Let's go back to waterfront because what we see in the background is the table mountain. So I'm going to add a comma and type in table mountain next to the category. Let's observe then what happens on the right. You will see up here there is a waterfront and table mountain. What does that mean? Show you later. We've added this second image. Again, you see table mountain. So I'm going to add table mountain. But this is also at an area called Bloberg Strand. Bloberg Strand. Okay, so we're going to put that one in there. And let's call this here just Bloberg. Bloberg which is Blue Mountain, Blue Mountain Beach. Next image is over here. Now, what do we see in this image? Again, we see Table Mountain. So I'm going to type in again, Table Mountain. And then I'm going to also add Soccer City. You see that dome in the middle? That is the Soccer City that was used in the Olympics, ah, in the FIFA World Cup in 2010. So we can say your uh, peninsula because this is the peninsula area. Next image, um, let's choose this one because now we are just looking at Soccer City. So I'm just going to type for the category Soccer City. Soccer City, and again, add here for the image Soccer City. I'm not gonna care about the description at this moment. Two more images to go, hang in there. Let's see what we have next. We're going to choose this one. And this one is again the uh, waterfront and again Table Mountain. So we add that. We can add, add something like Yacht Club, which is true. This is the Cape Town Mariner Yacht, Yacht Club. So let's add your Yacht Yacht Club. Yachty. And then image six, going to add this, my favorite little guy down here. And for this, we're going to add Boulders. Bay, Boulders Bay, and the title. And I forgot, they changed the name of this penguin. It used to be called a jackass penguin, and people had offense towards that, but that was its name because they say the sound it makes sounds like a donkey. So that's why they called it a jackass penguin. I think it's something now like the Southern Penguin or something like that. I forgot. I'll have to go check online. So no offense, that used to be called the jackass penguin. Let's have a look at what has happened here on this side 
going to update it so we can go view it in the preview mode. So click on preview changes and then let's see how it works. Now, this is going to blow your mind when you see what we've basically done. If I click now here at the top on waterfront, it's going to show me only the images that have been tagged or that has the description of waterfront. Table Mountain, there we go. Bloberg Strand, only this one. Soccer City, we get these two. Yacht Club should be only one and Boulder's Bay should be only one. And if I click on all, they give me all the images again. This is a very simple way of making a very good looking portfolio that people can click through very, very easily. Let's go and see other settings that we have with this. Under the settings, we can put it in a grid view. And there you go. And then there's a preset. Let's see what the preset does. I think it's to do with the overlays. Okay, there you see bottom. It's how where we display the text. Type three. Now it's a click and it will open up and type four. Right. So you can see each one is how the text and the information is displayed. I'm going to leave it there on type four at the moment. At the moment we've got three columns. We can change that all the way up to six. If we display it in two columns, that looks pretty nice. I do like that. Let's put it at six. Very small thumbnails probably. Okay, it's not fitting in there. One, two, three four, five, six, not quite. Let's see what happens if we put it on five. If it works better, it's more aligned, but we want to keep it nice and even. So let's go back to three. Item height, and that will be related to the height of these images. They will stretch now. Let's put them back at 300. And then you can change the naming. This moment for the all function, you can change something else if you want it there. What I do like is what you often find. So I'm going to change the columns to two to save some real estate space on your website. You can add a view more button. So currently it looks like this. If you add the view more button, then you will say, I'm going to add view more. So I only want the first four images to display. So I type in four. And then after that, you will see there's a view more button. And when you click on that, let's update it and let's go have a look at how it will display on the front end. Here it is. If I click on view more, it opens ta -da, and it gives you the rest. Very nice. And that is the settings in a nutshell. Let's have a look at justify. That is where it will put those images in. You'll have to put in a few more. And then the list one again, that's quite big. I'd rather not use the list on this portfolio item. In terms of styling, there's not much here. Let me go and put this back to grid. In terms of styling, it is the normal styling. You will be changing your font colors and things like that. You can change the margins bigger. You can bring them all the way down. You can have a border there if you so wish to do so. And then you have your filter. So this will be the styling for these elements up here. You can change it if you want to put a empty circle in there. That is something that you can play with. You can change the size of those separators, make it smaller. And of course, you can change the alignment of this thing, maybe all the way to the left. And you can also play around with the hover settings when you are going in there. See, as I hover over them, this maroon color is displaying. So again, all of this with the filters, the content, the more button, it's all about the styling and the colors of this portfolio element. Very nice one. And like I said, if you don't have time for another plugin, uh, you don't want to go and create a custom post type, you don't want to have all those add-ons, and you just have a very simple portfolio that you want to display on your website, give people the option to filter them with categories. This is a very, very simple way of doing it, but it serves the purpose. So highly recommend it again, if you ever need to work with a portfolio.